Atlanta Motor Speedway has stopped 33 on the Castrol GTX Cup Series this season for the season 12. And it's the running of the Na -na -na Napa Know How 500. Yep. And we have a five way chase in the points ch championship this season. And no chase, as I said, and never will be in the Castrol GTX Cup Series. And one of them is on the front row, by the way. The one on the pole is not, though. Jeremy Dubian in 12 has the pole in the race. This is Buick number, nine, number 12. He'll be alongside number 31, Dylan Pote, the mom and pop's good rent Chevrolet Limited. He is fourth in points coming in, but by a slim margin. Joshua Balkin, car 66, has the inside of row number two. A good qualifying run for him. Alongside Cole Daly in the Jeff Gordon cars, car 24, off of a bad run at Martinsville. Brian Judge in car 71, the Life Boy Chevrolet, and he'll be flanked by. Second in points, Jessica Shelton in car number nine, the Coors Light Pon uh, Ford. She's really been lucky the last few times she's had trouble when Sean Galligan has. So we'll see what happens in Atlanta. I'm not really sure what's going to happen today. Mike Becker is the inside of number, row number four and number 43 STP Pontiac. One or two races this season at Talladega and Dover. He'll be alongside Zed Weinstein, car 70, the Rumpel Furniture Pontiac. Chris Thornton, the Skull Bandit Oldsmobile, car 33. That's the answer of number 5. He'll be alongside the uh, man making no friends at Martinsville, the Sitgo Ford, number 21 of Austin Talley. He uh, made it, caused a lot of wrecks at Martinsville. Let's put it that way. And that's why he's pretty much a no friends kind of guy. Drivers, stop! So the command's been given the fire the engine. So Austin Tice caused some controversy at Martinsville. We'll see if he causes any today in Atlanta. Kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Joshua Collar, car number four, the Kodak Film Chevrolet, who had a good run at Martinsville, finishing in, in the top ten. He'll start alongside Arnold Columbia, car 27, the Kodiak Film Pontiac. Kodiak Pontiac. Then it's Mayonnaise, Charles Jackson, the five, Levi Garrett Chevrolet, and beside him, the Quaker State Buick, car 26 of Stephanie Naylor. Atlanta's usually one of those fun places to race, and we'll see what happens here as the pace car rounds turn number four. The green flag will be waving here for 33 laps around this 1.54 mile oval. The green flag waves, and here we go in Atlanta. Dylan Pote had already caught up on the high side of the racetrack, though, so he's got blown in chances. He's got of, of getting his five points. That's one of the, that's one of the, one of the, that's one of the cons of um, starting on the outside of the row. And now Jeremy Dibby now loses his lead, and he will lead. And he might. We'll see what Joshua Balkin leads the first. Or does Brian Judge lead it? It's Balkin who led the first slap of the race. Joshua, here comes Brian Judge, which where he led a flat in the last time in Atlanta in the lead. In car 71, he's going for the Atlanta sweep. The Life Boy Chevrolet number 2071 for Dave Marcus Racing. But looks uh, somebody's a little racy here in that four car there. That's Joshua Collard, car number four to Kodak Film Chevrolet. He's frustrated at the fact he's not had a win yet this season, and he would like to get one here in Atlanta, or before the season's over. At either Atlanta or Phoenix or Five Flags or Homestead. And I mentioned that. Five Flags track, that's the new track on the circuit. We'll be revisiting the, for the next to the last race of the tour, the, the, the Visit Pensacola Super Snowball 5, 300. Or 500, I haven't decided what's the name of that race just yet. Charles Jackson led the last time by, but oh, Dylan Young, he and Kyle Matthews getting close. Matthew's trying to shove Young to the apron on the track. And oh boy, this is gonna get this is gonna get hairy. And oh problems! Brian Judge and Johnny Gardner just locked together in, a, in turn four. No yellow. Henrietta Fitzwater has the lead now with Darian Taylor right behind in second. Kyle Matthews now in the third, the third position, position as, he gets, as he gets by Preston Plord. Dylan Young right behind that two car, the winner at Richmond. 
And remember, Preston Ploid, he comes in fifth in standings. He's part of that five-man chase for the sort of part of that five-driver chase for the cha for the championship at this point. We'll see what happens after Atlanta. Keith Batson, who was in the championship hunt, now he's dropped back to 13th in standings coming in coming into this race. He's now in the top 10 in seventh. He like to get a win here to here to kind of salvage his season. But look who's hooked up now, Dylan Young and Preston Plord. Plord's been running well on those mile and a half tracks this season. Evidence by his winner at Charlotte, Dylan Young, the winner at Richmond this season, and finally getting his first win in the series. But here comes Keith Badson. Car 20 at the Texaco Haviland Ford. He'll have the lead come out of turn number four, and he will take he will lead this lap. And two of our champion, two more of our championship contenders right behind. The one of Trent Dunham and the nine of Jessica Shelton. And boy, look at Trent. He knew he was robbed at Martinsville. He did have a win at Kansas, but he almost had Martinsville in his he had Martinsville within his grasp until he got shuffled back late in the going and then getting wrecked one time. Still came in with a top five run, but that's led him back in the championship hunt. But now it's down between Dunham and Shelton as to who'll be the who'll get those five bonus points for leading a lap. But Kyle Matthews has got something to say about that in that 42 car. He's now I makes mean, a three wide between he, Shelton, and Dunham. And Kyle Matthews to the front. Kyle Sosnowski right behind that seven car. He's in second position now that Hooters Ford. No Dunham or no cautions just yet. I hope I don't I hope I don't get jinxed this one. Darian Taylor is right there. Brody Talley, who had a disaster setting at Martinsville. Three wide again for the lead, and now Talley makes the move. And they're saying this is those three wide moves are fun. Let's let's do all this. Now Henry and Fitzwater up there. Now Preston Portress make a go for it again in that 18 car. And Batson's up there, and look who's right behind Ann. The championship leader, Sean Galligan, car 17, Yoshi. Trying to get its first championship. Lap speeds averaging over 200 miles an hour out of a lot of the cars. Even though the last lap by the leader was 198.94, but a lot of the cars clocking at 200 in the draft. William Duncan, car 22 up there, is in, now trying for the lead himself. He is now taking us inside of his buddy Seth Cole. Jordan Newman up there in 29. Joshua Osborne in 19. Dylan Poteet's going to try to make a run, another run at it again. None of our points contenders has been able to lead a lap today, but we might see a change now with Poteet, possibly. He's got Zed Weinstein all over him in that 70 car to drive for J.D. McDuffie. And ooh, Poteet makes a move on the inside he, of, of Osborne. And now Weinstein goes inside. Does he lead this lap? No. Poteet will, and he will get his five bonus points. We can make a deal with those five over, over those five bonus points, but they do add up. So every lap you lead and every point you gain comes a long way. And especially in this, especially when you get down to the heat of the of the of the, ser of the season. Now a pair of Pontiac spelled out Zed Weinstein and Arnold Columbia going at it. And it's Weinstein, I think, who lead the lap. Yes, it was. And oh, four wide in turn number one. And what a power move by Trent Dunham in the one car. And oh, Chris Darton. What in the world? How did he save that? And now Darton now goes in the third. Make that second. Chris Tollerton looked like he had about 10 miles there on everybody going down the back stretch. He falls short of leading the lap, but now Austin Talley dives inside. Trent Dunham now suck, caught in the sucker hole. Cole Daly in the 24 up there. Joshua Coward in the four cars up there. 
Battle for the lead, heating up here at Atlanta. And now car being pushed by his buddy Jessica Shelton in the nine car. And, he, and Shelton now being in the push from Michael Norman in the 94. And it's Shelton to the lead. But here comes Norman and Plored. Now here comes Preston Plored. He's trying to get his five his bonus points now for leading a lap. Just great racing here at Atlanta vs. Yes, we now hit the halfway mark. Or almost hit the halfway mark. And in fact, we do. 17 laps down, 16 to go. Dalton Day now, car 20 is up there. The Crown Petroleum Oldsmobile, Darian Taylor inside. Number 8, the Snickers Buick. Zachary Fitzwater. Damaged up race car from that little melee in the early part, and that little dust up in the early part of the race. And they may, they may, I think they will catch him in this lap, I think. Now the Batson's up there, Keith in the 28 and in the 3. Now it's going to happen. Batson dives low. Whoa! And they split the hole, of, uh, they almost split the hole between with Zachary Fitzwater, and now Darian Taylor takes the lead. And oh, four wide again in turn number one. And Sean Galgan dips. Oh, and problems. Track Dunham's crashed. Kyle Sosnowski's in it. Zachary Fitzwater, barrel rolls. Jordan Newman's crashed. Dylan Poteet, was he in it? Yes, he was! Poteet, fourth in standings. And Darian Taylor, one respect to the start finish line. Yeah, Kyle Sosnowski, he's in it. Caution flying with 14 laps remaining here at Atlanta. So we know that two of our points contenders are involved and I think I'm trying to think what happened Mike Becker was down low and I, let's look for the helicopter view on this one see who played the whodunit game they got four wide Seth Cole makes a good move on the end makes a power move on the inside but Dalton Day he shoves Mike Becker down low Gets him in the Sean Galligan. They shove they shoves Galligan down below the apron. And Sean Galligan, he keeps getting lucky. He saves another one. I think Sean Galligan must have a lucky Yoshi charm. I don't know. But, and, but Mike Becker, he got the worst end of the deal. Jessica Sheldon looks like she comes away unscathed. Jordan Newman up there, and then Charles Jackson. I don't know if he got in the crash or not. Nope, he's clean. But we'll get a ride here from Mike Becker on this one. On board, Mike Becker. Now from Zachary Fitzwater's view. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody.
So no secret fits waters out of the race. Four cars knocked out. Mike Becker, Kyle Sosnowski, Dylan Pote, fourth in standings. He's out of the race now. He'll finish 37th. That's going to kill him for us. And the points, he's still, he might still make it up, but... Zachary Fitzwater, he's out of the race, too. Trent Dunham, he was third in standings coming in. He's 34th now, a lap down. So two of our top five runners in the championship chase out of the race. Uh, and boy, Sean, I don't know if, if Sean Gallagher gets any lucky. We might have sent him to Vegas. He should have been in the crash, and he saved it. He is now fifth after getting shoved in the apron and saving it. He's now fifth in the point in the race right now. I tell you, if he wins the championship, he, he's pretty gonna, it's pretty much well deserved on the part of him. But he's in fifth position right now. Sixth is Pre uh, Preston Port is in 21st, and Jessica Shelton's 29th. But they both can make it up in the in the. In the eight laps we got left, the nine laps we got left in this race as the green flag waves once again. We're back underway at Atlanta. Nine laps to go. This is going to be a wild nine laps. Who moves up? Who drops back? Who stands ground? Who wins? Seth Cole makes the first move. He takes the lead. Keith Batson right behind in second in that 28 car. You can see it in his eyes. He wants to win a race. Sean Galligan, he wants to extend his points lead. He has 31. He had a 31 point lead coming into this event. Galligan the second. He wants to lead a he wants to lead a lap. Cole Dally wants to try to shove him. But no, Dally, Dally's gonna deny Galligan the lap lead. Here comes Dally for the lead, and he's got it as he puts the Jeff Gordon cars out in front. Brody Talley right behind, car six. Kyle Matthews in 42. William Duncan, 22. Part of the race is Kenny Rogers says you gotta know when to hold him and know when to fold him. This was like Talladega racing here in Atlanta. Matthews out in front. This time by six laps to go. Kyle Matthews barely leading that lap. Now it's William Duncan out in front, car 22. Battling going on. Sean Galligan dropping back. Preston Plored. Trying to work his way up to the field now. Chris Dalton right behind as they push Plord past Stephanie Naylor. Plord sees that 17 of Sean Galligan. He wants to get past him. Trying to make this championship battle much more interesting going in the Phoenix. Trent Dunham holding up the entire field. That includes Galligan. Brian Judge and Jessica Shelton, they're now trying to draft up to the field now. Three laps to go here in Atlanta. Two to go now. Keith Batson has the lead now. Does he hold them all off to get his first wins in season number, I think season nine, when he last won a race, season nine or t season nine when he last won a race at Phoenix, Arizona. 
Does Batson get a win? But William Duncan, he might say no way. He's closing in. And to number four, the white flag waves one lap remaining here in Atlanta. Here we go. William Duncan trying to close in. He's on the inside of Batson. Here he comes. William Duncan looking for second win of the season. Backstretch there side by side in the third and fourth turns now. Duncan in 22, Batson in 28, Duncan pulls ahead. Ian Dutta tries to make the move to the inside. Here they come out the fourth corner, Dutta to the inside of Duncan it is. William Duncan winning in Atlanta. William Duncan gets his second win in the season. He won the, earlier this season at the first Bristol event. Poor Keith Batson denied again. That's Keith Price now wondering is am I ever gonna win another race? Crumple car Jordan Newman trying to go by, but boy, well deserved victory lap for William Duncan. Drove his heart out in a, in a final lap uh, like a had to scrap like a badger, I guess you might say, to try to hold off the whole field. But William Duncan gets the win here today. Ian Dutta comes home second. Keith Batson third. Austin Telly comes home fourth. Chris Darton fifth. Jeremy Doobie sixth. Joshua Osborne in seventh. Preston Plord will get a good points run. He finishes in eighth position. Henry Fitzwater in ninth. Stephanie Neal in tenth. Eleventh was Kyle Matthews. Charles Jackson. Arnold Columbia. Charlie Rodriguez and Cole Daly in the top 15. Ann Batson. Birdie Talley. Sean Galligan in 18th. Jessica Shelton in 19th. They were right nose to tail. Uh, just Shelton could not quite get past Galligan, though, to try to gain any points. Uh, P.J. Williams and Zed finishes in 20th. So, it looks like Galligan was second best among the points contenders. But this is going to shake up the points again now with Preston Plord finishing in the top 10. Whew. Trent Dunham comes in 34th position. That's not what he needed to try to keep up his points Harvest. Um, Dylan Poteet, 37th. Things are going to get interesting as we head into Phoenix up next. Man, oh man. But for William Duncan, again, a big win for him as he is in the top 10 in points, I believe, coming into Atlanta. And the points as they are right now, it's a still it's now a four-way man, a four-way chase for the championship now. Preston Plord's win, or uh, eighth place run, moves him in the third place now on the points by 60 points behind the leader, Sean Galligan. I don't know, Sean Galligan gets any, if Sean Galligan keeps up his lucky streak like he has, missing Rex and, finish, and finishing up there, he's probably going to, there might be no contest even though the points are close. Shelton's 34 back in second, uh, Plord's third, fourth is Dunham by 92 points, Dylan Pothey's now 109 back in fifth. Arnold Columbia is in 6th position Henry out of Fitzwater William Duncan now up to 8th with his win Johnny Gardner and now Keith Batson back up in the top 10 top 9 separated by just less than 200 points but I tell you what if Phoenix, if Phoenix can be a wreck fest if, the, if, the, if they, things are going the way they are right now the points may shake up again after Phoenix so and that's the next race on the tour the Subway Fresh Fit 500 don't miss it